Hello, I'm Wishing from DBS. Welcome to my video. I hope you notice that the video quality in this video is actually better than my previous one. My previous one is just a consumer video camera from Canon. It's for family purposes, it's workable, it's interesting. But the thing is, it's not high quality because now I'm going for video streaming also. So I need a better quality that was hand record as a P. My previous camera, my Canon camera, video camera is actually a I recording. So it can't do much about it. All right, that's why you notice there's a subtle softness of my old, old video. Now the question some people will ask, why I chose another video camera instead of going for a DSLR? The one that I'm considering is Canon 5D Mark IV. 5D Mark IV is around the same price with uh, my this video, new video camera, Panasonic AGHX180, I call it 180. Then the DSR, I call it 5D. Why? You may ask that I didn't choose DSR. DSR is a good video camera, and better still, it can act as a dual still camera with some other beautiful quality yeah video camera can also act as still but the resolution wise cannot fight with the actual DSR camera DSR camera is also compact handy then very important the lens can be interchanged so you can invest on the better quality lens or better lens that is suitable for your requirement you can do that but I choose a video camera because of few things number one is I want to use my this video camera for also doing some event in future outdoor event like schools event weddings or church event a DSR is not handy in the sense because number one it do not have SDR output so if I want a SDR output I need to buy a converter and converter require power and it will dangling around your tripod video camera the one that I buy have SDR output so it give me long cable advantage compared to a HDMI which a DSR usually is a HDMI do not have HDMI the longest you can go or single cable is 50 meter nowadays you can find 100 meters but instead of a copper cable inside there they put a fiber optic cable in other words the cost is went up so high it's not justified to buy for event because for event one of the biggest issue is wear and tear cabling wear and tear is one of the biggest things you're going to face you may need to change the cable every two years to three years HDMI are not designed for that durable compared to SDI all right one reason because SDI was all the while is used by the broadcaster everywhere broadcaster demand a higher durability whereas HDMI designed from the beginning for home usage that's why the cable are bigger bulkier and short another thing I didn't choose about DSR because DSR have only mini jack for audio input where else the camera I buy have an XLR 
which is very beautiful because SLR can reduce what we call noise easily. The mini jack is also means that the cable cannot be too far. It must be short. Anything longer, a certain length, it will be not good at all. Then, because I'm doing for event, autofocus is quite important. This is where DSR I have one of the big points. It do not have an autofocus function. It's a manual fun focusing. So it's it gives you a slight disadvantage of it. These are useful for short video clip, small event, video streaming purposes. Yes, because it's all within a confined, confirmed time area. So, where else? Video camera is bigger, bulkier, but here has its advantage for able to do event can easily because of the SDI output and because it's more heavier, it's also more balanced in a way. When you do a shoot on the drug bowl, it's more convenient. So that's why I choose a video camera because I go considering just not just video streaming that I would want to use it but I also consider I want to do things for event event that is may require tripod or up and running okay with a good necessary cable output and audio input it's not a price factor both are quite close to it but you just buy the camera itself with the lens it's quite close to each other but this is where this, this DSR has this advantage because when you start adding things for example I want to I want to be convert my HDMI to SDI I need a, a special rig so I can put my converter with it so if I want to move run around that converter are still there I decided that I prefer to be as simple as possible with minimum device that's why I go for video camera okay that's all I'm going to talk about because it's it's a short video I just want to to actually to show off my new camera <laughs> okay to conclude to add on all right, my video camera have few advantage over this. Uh, uh, this camera have two SD card recording. You can actually create whether you want to record the first one, finish, you go to the next one, or you you do recording both at the same time. The second recording is more for backup, because you never know as when SD card will die. Uh, this where. If I buy a DSR, I need to get a hard disk recorder. Why need to get a hard disk recorder? Because I need to, to have a backup recording for just in case. My disk camera have this option. I do not need to invest a lot. I need to just get more SD card. That's all. But video camera has my disk particular model has one disadvantage. The lens is fixed. If I choose a camera that is giving me inter interchangeable lens, the price went up very high. So choosing a camera with a fixed lens, that's limit what I can do with a camera that giving me interchange lens. So this is why at the end, I choose a video camera than a DSR because the fixed lens is not a disadvantage for event because it can zoom, it can wide. Fair enough. So that's all for today. I'm wishing from DBS.
Thank you. Goodbye. God bless.